It's a Game Boy. All right, if you're clicking on this video, you're probably seeing the title, you're probably seeing the thumbnail, and you know what you're in for. Now, what is surprising to me is that the original R36S is, in and of itself, kind of a clone. So, why do we have a clone of a clone? And matter of fact, why is there another one? The video will be about this one. But let me first preface this with this little thing. This is mine. I use this dude out daily. I like it. This is a good little tiny console. And I'm like, come on, you cannot tell me that it looks bad. It looks good. It looks serviceable. The buttons are okay. Um, it's good enough for me to play Pokemon. Look, it's my Pikachu. <laughs> oh, you're happy, aren't you? Look at you, little guy. So anyways, yes, I use this thing to play just like Pokemon, Final Fantasy VI, like a couple of other games. But the thing is, I paid like the equivalent of 20 euro for this thing. So it should be bad, right? It's not. And I've spent so many hours already on this thing. And every time I boot up a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy game or a Game Boy Advance game or a PlayStation game or any of those sorts, every time I boot one of those up, I get hit with a wave of nostalgia first and then I spend like an hour on the toilet. So what I'm saying is these are good, cheap little devices and I honestly recommend them to anyone. However, there is one thing that you should kind of consider if you want to pick one of these up. And that is the fact that they're making clones of these things. Now I kind of got lucky with this because this did come with ArcOS, uh, like how it was supposed to be. But after checking the DTB file on it, apparently this was a screen one version of the R36S, I'm just called it the poop boy. The newer version, the community maintained version of ArcOS installed easily, flawlessly, and boom, easy, done. Happy, happy, yeah, of course. But I got lucky. This is a clone. Now I'm gonna set the stage for you. You're browsing Tamu. Oh wow, what is this game console thing that keeps on popping up? You Google it, turns out that it's pretty decent. And you pull the trigger. It was 20 euros. You didn't lose a lot of money, but then it arrives and you realize, oh no. What is this Wikipedia page? There are clones that have worse performance. They are not as good. Did I get one? Yes, you did. So you're probably asking yourself, what am I going to do now? I cannot return it. I live in a third world country. If I ship it back, it's going to cost me a fortune to just like get my 20 euros back. Can I use this thing? Um, spoiler, you, you can. You can use it for the same things that I'm using mine for. We're not removing that. This is a free screen protector. It's staying on the console. Anyways, one SD card slot, another SD card slot. It's so interesting to me, like, to see the difference between these two, even though this is technically also a copy of the R36 S, but this is a good one. And then you boot it up and you're like, okay, let's, let's, let's I'm, I'm, I'm ready, let's, let's do some gaming. And you get in there and you press the system and it's like, Emulek? What? Isn't this Arc OS? Wasn't it supposed to be Arc OS? And, and then it hits you, oh no, you got a copy, you got a clone. But again, that's okay, that's fine. Trust me, it's it's fine, because you can do stuff with it. You can still enjoy this thing. Uh, it's an R36S, and like all of them, once you order one, uh, they usually come with like, like a 64 gig memory card, preloaded with games, preloaded with the OS. Uh, those are usually um, ass cheeks, and I recommend anyone to just throw them away and replace them with a genuine good like Kingston or even SanDisk or any of those. And, uh, and, yeah, make your life a little bit easier. But, you know, um, it feels okay. Like, the buttons feel okay. Uh, they, 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 I'd, I'd go as far to say that they feel better than mine. It works. It works fine. It works decent enough for me to just straight up enjoy the game and have a good time. Oh, there we go. I found, I found the, the, the speed up button. For the most part, you will too. There, there's, there's a way to live with this. Now, this unit in particular, this was supposed to be a gift. So what I'm gonna do today, I will make it good for my buddy who's about to go on an adventure with these things and uh, prepare it for, for his birthday. Yes, it is not running as it should be. However, thankfully, the community has got you. Uh, they created a custom image, uh, a custom ArcOS system to make this uh, as good of an experience for you as you can get. So once we're done with that, we will essentially sit down, we will test a couple of these games and then see how it works. And I will transfer over my ROM set that I have 
acquired over the, the years so painfully. And, uh, and yeah, we, we're gonna make this a decent enough birthday present for someone who's probably gonna enjoy it quite a lot, preferably on their toilet. So, let's switch to the PC. First, what you want to do is you want to grab your SD card that you got from earlier. And just for safe measure, you want to copy at least the OS contents that are on there, just in case something fails or, you know, like you need the files from it. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to select it. It's the USB drive F. It says 58 gigabytes. It has eight gigabytes free. And we're going to select F in that case, and we're going to create just an image file. It's essentially going to be a hard copy of everything off the file. And yeah, you know, we'll use it just in case if we need anything from it. Eventually, someday, one day, whatever. On my D drive, I made an R36S folder, and I'm just going to name it clone image. And yeah, we can read. Give it some time. It's going to need all the time in the world. So grab yourself a snack and drink and... Um, I don't know, watch some YouTube in the meantime. Or, or, if you don't want to grab yourself a snack and drink, and you still want to continue working on this, let's go to Google while this is saving its stuff. So we want to look up the R36S wiki. As you can see, it says R36S overview and R36S clones. Now, if you go to this link and you tap on it, you will find that these are, yes, Emulek clones. This is the one that we have here and that we are working with. Uh, matter of fact, I believe it's a Gaminja. And uh, at, at least that's what the name was over on, on Temu when I ordered it. So what we'll need to do is we'll probably ignore all of this, how to spot a clone, because we already stuck with one, you know, and it might have the weaker uh, RK3128 SOC. Um, but uh, we'll just skim over this and, um, yeah, again, save the SD card that you have with it. We're going to skim all over this and we're going to go down a little bit and we will find this, ArcOS. So, in the community, someone already created an ArcOS, a community-maintained image for the clones. The R36S clones, the K36, the R36 Pro, R36 Max, U8 handheld, RX6H, etc, etc. So, what you want to do is you want to come here and you want to grab the, the latest release. So, for K36 and R36S clones, you want to download it, Google Drive, what? All right, let's try that again. Let's go to Mega. <laughs> what? Oh. Huh? Okay. Um. And uh, now we can get back to the grab your favorite snack and drink and and uh, and uh, and watch the menu bars close. But with the help of editing magic, and ta da, we are back. So now we made a copy, a full copy, a full image of the original SD card that came with it. Now let's format it. Actually, no, like, I'm gonna format it, but do as I say, don't do as I do. Matter of fact, I will close Win32 Disk Imager for now, and I will go back to the ArcOS repository for K36 and similar clones. And right here, you have this tiny little flashing guide here. Um, I recommend you click on it. And as we can see, extract image file. We downloaded the image file. It's right here. If you're not using a brand new micro, it is recommended to format the card using the SD card formatter tool. I downloaded the SD card formatter tool. I downloaded ArcOS. Let's open the folder. They said to extract the archive. So let's do that extract here and boom. So after installing it, you select your card. In my case, that's F, quick format, sure, sure, sure. Format, and it should be fine. Oh, oh, okay, uh, that's not good. Let's try it with the SD card formatter once more. It should work now, right? Right? Huh. All right. We're bringing out the big guns. I'm gonna explain more about this like some other day. But I essentially I bought this Macro Pro for 20 euro. So erase, erasing, erasing. Ha! That's that looks like a success to me, lads. And let's go back to the PC. Okay, there we go. Game Boy. Boy. Uh, please use a brand new SD card. That's gonna save you a lot of trouble. Um, haha. <laughs> uh, anyways, back to the R36S folder. So. Now we have the ArcOS image uh, for the K36S or whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, our thing is formatted. We have a backup just in case. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go flash this thing. For that, we will need Win32 Disk Imager on Windows or Apple Pie Baker on Mac. 
to flash flash the whole thing. So let's do that. Again, please uh, do as I say, not as I do. Please follow the tutorial. Do not do the jank I do on this channel. There we go. Win 32 disk imager. All right, there's our image. It's 8.5 gigabytes. We're gonna select that device F. Make sure you don't select a different device. I did that once and formatted my entire hard drive. And uh, yeah, we're gonna click on write. Sure, you want to continue? Yes. And I think that's it. It's writing, it's working. Is it fast? Not really. Is it gonna take a while? Probably. Okay, it did the thing. And now we wait. This is painfully slow. Let me tell you about our sponsor, Um, me. Oh my God, it's almost done. Ah! There we go. All right, let's test this out. Welcome back to the hand cam. Why is it so dark? All right, so again, do as I say, not as I do. This is the original SD card that came with this brick. Yeah, we're gonna go and stick it inside of this slot now, even though it was in the other slot. And let's see if it works. Oh, I'm in the nug. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Okay, booting, first boot. Let's see what happens. Oh. Game console R30 something S. You'll have to wait on the first install because it will expand partitions, install the thing, etc, etc. Running initial setup. We're waiting. Oh, it's doing thing. AX. Okay, creating new partition for easy ROMs. Heck yeah. Cleaning up. Cleanup complete. Boys, I think we did it. We're in. ArcOS K36. Let's load this puppy up with games. And there we go. We got the boot partition and we got the easy ROMs partition. Now, if you go into the easy ROMs partition, you'll see a bunch of folders. And all of these folders are, you know, just systems where you're gonna put in your your backup games. And of course, like there's a lot of stuff that you can do with ArcOS. You can change the themes, etc. etc. You can add ports from Portmaster and uh, and just you know genuinely have fun with the little tiny console. We'll see how it performs and how it works in a minute, but first let me just transfer a couple of things over and uh, see see how she works. Of course you're gonna place also your BIOS files into the BIOS folder. There are some free ones, open source ones already available inside of the BIOS folder, but for everything else like your Game Boys, your Playstations, your this or that, yeah, uh, find them, get your own. I'm not sharing mine. Nuh-uh. So essentially you're gonna wanna place your NES ROMs into your NES folder on the easy ROMs partition. You're gonna place your Game Boy games into the Game Boy partition. And you know, it's it's not something I should I should be explaining if you're this deep into the video. I'm assuming you're gonna be able to do this on your own. But if not, and if you have your games, if you downloaded a couple of um, <clears throat> if you sourced a couple of your own games, you'll be able to just like take them Place them into the GBA, GB, going so Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, um, Famicom, DOS, well, Dreamcast, um, uh, Super Nintendo, down here later, uh, we're gonna get to that, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, and you'll be able to just like place it in there and, uh, you know, have some fun. Um, okay, it seems like this is gonna take a while, so editing magic, go. Oh my god, it's finally done. Oh, th that didn't take a whole 45 minutes. Before I continue, uh, please know that whatever I'm doing right here applies also to the K36, uh, the Kinhank or whatever the name is, uh, as well as the R36 Max and Pro or etc. etc. for a lot of models. You can find more stuff about that on the on the ArcOS wiki for the K36 and similar clones. But yeah, for K36, R36S, My Mini, R36 Max, etc. So please do your own research, of course, for doing this. Check which model you have, et cetera, et cetera. And um, yeah, have fun. That's in my opinion, the best thing about these tiny little consoles, tweaking them until they're just the way you want them. Now, as for other stuff, such as the functionality you're gaining with ArcOS or scraping the box art for all of your games, I wholeheartedly recommend Russ from Retro Game Corps, where you can find all of this. So this, this includes everything about the actual consoles, as well as the systems, as well as scraping box art. Okay, we're back with the hand cam and boot. And let's see what this puppy does. Yeah, there we go. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. There we go. Let's start off with something very, very easy. So the Nintendo Entertainment System works fine. But okay, like, I, I, I get it. Like, it's it's a Nintendo enter Entertainment System. It's uh, it's it's the NES. Like, 
how hard would it be to run a NES game or whatever. So let's 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 switch it up a bit. Let's do something a bit more more advanced. <laughs> oh baby, yes. Why is it stretched? I don't like that. And we're off to Duraces. This is F Zero. Seems to be running fine. Let's switch it up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So Yoshi's Island works. PlayStation. A Chevy. A Mustang. Where's my JDMs? Oh hell yeah. Let's go RX7. That rotary goodness. I'll be honest with you. I'm sold. Yep. It's it's Gran Turismo, all right? And it's running full speed. It seems to play great. Okay, so what's the conclusion here? This whole project started off with me ordering one of these little devices because I liked mine. I thought, okay, maybe I can just give it to someone as a gift. Upon arrival, it turned out to be, you know, a clone. However, the community of the R36S is, is more than amazing. They not only managed to make something like this, which a lot of people consider, well, returnable, they made it very hackable and pretty much usable to the point where this is fun. I would use this no questions asked. And I am pretty sure that to someone who does not use any of these like, tiny little devices, it's still going to be a very meaningful and fun little gift. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe. I don't know, but I'll be, I'll be doing more stuff like this. If any of you still have questions about the R36S or its clones or the Arc OS or what to do with these little thingies once you, once you buy them, let me know in the comments below and uh, I, I can make a follow-up video to this. But all in all, this was just a way to show that, yeah, you bought a clone, well, you may as well get your money's worth out of it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great day. See you again. Peace.